All right, child, in this video, we're going to be going over a tool called Scenario.com. It's an AI tool that allows you to create consistent characters. So if you're creating a virtual influencer or you have a game and you need consistent characters throughout the game and you need to have that same look, that same face, this is going to be the perfect tool for you. So I'm going to be showing you how to train a model, how you can generate images and some other benefits that are on the platform. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so we're going to want to pull up Scenario.com um, and you're going to see their landing page and scroll through it real quick so this is what you can do you see all the brand assets that it can create everything's consistent okay so now that we have logged in uh, we can go over and we can visit the models and we can see what the models they have on the platform and it just depends on what you're trying to generate you can generate cartoons anime um, realistic people as well so what we're going to be using is the SDXL model you're just going to click here you're going to click on foundation models and then click on SDXL and then we're going to add a prompt and I'm going to have the prompt in the description below for you. Okay. So this is the prompt that we're going to use. I'll scroll through it for you real quick. And you can see the images are generating right now. And here are the settings as well. And then I use the hue and scheduler instead of the default scheduler. Just cause I read that the skin, um, comes out better with this scheduler, but we'll see which of the tests and do trial and error and find out for ourselves. Okay, we'll look at the generations. I'm not really a fan of these. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the scheduler and we'll switch it to default and we'll see how it does. Okay, so we got those images back. Um, this one looks the best so far. Still not what we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop in an image that we created in another video. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm having it tagged in the description below. Okay, so we're gonna keep this prompt the same and we're gonna use this as a reference image. So she has blonde hair. Let's see if it changes the hair to brown, like we said, and let's see if it creates a similar image to this. We'll put the influence at 25 for now. Um, you can adjust the modes um, for what you want. You can do image to image plus control net, control net, reference only. And so if you want to add multiple things to it. So we'll just do this for now. Okay. So I feel like the prompt is most definitely causing it not to give us the look that we want. But we do have like a similar look uh, for each of these photos. I wouldn't say they're like 100% spot on, same person, but it is like a consistent style of the image. So, and if we raise the influence up, I'm pretty sure it'll make it look more like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the prompt and I'm gonna remove everything. Okay, so what we're gonna try is raw photo, subject, U AK UHD, DSLR, soft lighting, high quality, in a clear fit, in a clear face. Okay, so let's generate that. We'll keep the the reference, the influence at 25 uh, for the reference image, and we'll see how that does. We may need to up it a little bit more if we wanna get the image to look very similar to her. So we have the first one coming back right now and we can take a look at it. So it's it's kinda close. It's It's a lot more clear actually, like for the eyes and stuff than what we had in the original image. This one looks closer so we'll go back and forth now so this one looks the closest to the original image yeah this one does look the closest from like the shirt and everything too so and now what we can do is let's let's raise the influence up a little bit Let's put it at 50 and let's see what we get now. Okay, so we got our images back. These look a lot better with 50 influence. Like it looks like a similar character in every single one. The hairstyles change a little bit. So let's, let's change things up a little bit and let's see what else we can get out of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this control net and the image to image as well. So we're gonna select from the library and 
but we're gonna we're gonna click on this one and it has like this angle so we want to see if it's going to generate an image similar to that with the same uh, face so let's go up and let's generate that okay that was not what we were trying to generate so let's see what went wrong um uh, the influence was at 25 so maybe if we up it to 50 again it might help it out some more so let's try that okay so what i did is i added this prompt in here now this was the original prompt that i used to generate the image because we're not getting what we want so what we're going to do now is we're going to try this control image um the influence is at 50 and the influence is at 50 for the control net it was at 100 before so we're going to test this out and see how that goes for us so like i said before it's just trial and error and trial and error until you get it right okay so we're getting very similar images to before so what we're going to do now is we're going to test a few different things out try to see what we can do to get the same face but some different things so i think it's coming down to the prompt as well as this reference image so let's try reference only and then let's put the background as the ocean and we'll generate that and we'll see what happens next. Okay, so using the reference only, this right here looks like a pretty good image and so does this one. This one looks like the face is distorted. Like down here, it's way too long. Um, this looks closer. This one looks a little bit better than that one. And then the last one that I created was this one. And you can see like the ocean in the background blurry. So this one's not too bad. So what we want to do is we want to take at least five images and then we want to train a model. So what you do is you hit start training and then you want to have five, you want to have at least five images in here and then you can start training on a model. And then what it can do is generate the images um, with consistent faces throughout. So that's what we're going to do right now. Since we don't have five images, I'm going to drop in five of these of the same image. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so once you add the images in, you can crop them the way you want them. So, and then you can just hit start training. And it's going to be queued. And you'll be able to watch the progress. Okay, so now we've finished training and we can generate our first batch. Um, you can set how much influence you want your Laura to have. So we'll leave it at 80 right now since that's the default. Um, and then we're just going to say a woman on the beach. And then let's add in the other. Okay. So now we have, so now we have what we want for our prompt, a woman on the beach, raw photo, subject, AKUHD, DSLR, soft lighting, high quality, clear face, blonde, blue eyes, pores, uh, with the one setting and then in her twenties. So that's the same thing that we did to generate the image and all these are gonna stay the same. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we got our images back. So we can tell that it's kind of getting the same character. It's not very good. Um, let's just take off these prompts and let's just do a woman. And we're gonna increase the Laura all the way up to one. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so having the Laura at one is way too strong. So I recommend just having a lot more training images and you'll be able to generate consist a consistent face throughout. I've done it before. I had about, I think it was like 50 images loaded up. So if you have about 50 images, you'll be able to create a consistent face throughout. So, um, and I'll show you some other tools using Stable Diffusion in another video. Um, but this video is just gonna be about scenario and how you can use their platform. All right, y'all, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you guys like the video, just drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I just dropped my Discord, so if you guys wanna join and you guys are into business, that's all we're talking about in there. We're talking about a bunch of different industries. It's called Industry Insiders. So the link will be in the description below, and I hope to see you guys in there.